Hello Cancer, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. This is your Love and General reading for the 1st to the 15th of October 2018. Today is actually the 29th of September 2018 and I'm doing the Divine Spread so let's see what is going on with you. Okay, that's the card that wants to come out. Judgment, okay. Pluto is actually going direct in two days. This is the card of Pluto and Scorpio. Pluto rules Scorpio. Uh, so there's a lot going on in Scorpio where Jupiter is and Venus is. Venus will be moving retrograde. She's practically getting ready in about six days to turn retrograde. She's going back into, back into Libra where she's working through partnerships, relationships. Uh, we're working through anything that is of Venusian qualities. So love, money, anything of value, any projects that we have begun, anything to do with Libra. Libra is, yes, it can be legalities, but it's also other people, right? Libra is all about justice, finding the balance. So, yeah, and Pluto will be moving direct in Capricorn after so many months that he's been retrograding. So there's a judgment calling, calling a second chance for Cancer. Let's see to do what, dear Cancer? What are you hoping to rise up from? Now, when there is a judgment, it's obviously been difficult. Let's cut the cards for Cancer. And Pluto is all about powering up. So get ready. In the distant past, and there's your card. We have the chariot. What is hidden from you, what you don't know, is that you're up in your head and that you are free to move. You can move freely. You need to stop thinking about it, but act. Let me see the recent past. We've got the Five of Pentacles, yeah. So in the now position, we've got the Page of Cups, which means all systems are go, Cancer. All systems are go. This is your <laughs> crowning card. So your goals and aspirations are the Ten of Swords. For those of you that are hoping to get out of a relationship, a partnership, could be business, could be with family, even working with family. Sometimes it can be really tough. Know that this is the end. This is the end. It's a 10. Let's see what the advice is. Okay, stand up for what you believe in. Seven of Wands. That is what the advice is. Keep on pushing through. And the outcome is the Empress. Wow. I love the Empress. Now, what is going on planetarily? And the divine message for you, dear Cancer, is the Four of Cups. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to take one card on that Ten of Swords. I have to, I just can't. I can't help myself. Okay. And I know that you're all saying, yay. Take some more. Take some more cards. I will be extending this reading on Vimeo. So let me just read this. Let me just see what this Ten of Swords is. It's, okay. Is that one or two cards? Two cards. <laughs> wow. Two sixes. All right. So whatever, wherever there was an imbalance in your life, in anything to do with monetary um, situations, legal situations, love matters, things are changing around. Things are really changing around. This is wonderful. Okay, now the Ten of Swords always breaks down to the One. So there's a brand new beginning with someone from your past. 
with someone that you've known for a long time, maybe even from a previous life. For those of you that are um, getting out of a relationship and getting into a new relationship, I think that you've paid your dues already, okay? You've paid your dues and this is exactly what this card speaks of. You've paid your dues and it's time for you to receive now. Let's begin. Okay, the chariot card. Obstacles, having difficulty moving forward. Some of you have wanted to move for a long time. Um, and this is in the distant past. So let's say, I would say that... Um, Physically, you may have not moved, um, but I feel as though mentally and emotionally you've already moved. You've like checked out. You're checked out, right? You've made that change, that transition. Um, and I believe that that's probably why we've got this card here. The universe is telling you that We've given you that push. You need to do the rest now, right? You need to take charge. Um, some of you, yes, have literally moved, literally moved. Even though finances were, it was difficult financially for you to move. But I do believe that when we have two people in this card, it says that you do have support from others around you, people who are close to you, a family member. It looks as though you've got a support system here. Um, and you thought that it was impossible. You thought that there was no moving. There was no getting out of this situation. But that was just your mind going around and around in loops. And, you know, once our head keeps going around and around, it's hard to stop it. So I do believe that through support... Someone reached out, someone was there for you, okay, and it's wonderful now. And I, I feel as though for one, one or two of you, the person that reached out and helped you, gave you that, you know, that helping hand, um, I do believe that that could manifest into something bigger. Like this could be a new relationship, uh, starting off probably from a friendship and then moving into romance, right? And that's just, wow, I love that. Oh, absolutely love that. Now, you could be dealing with either an, another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn, or, and because I've got the Eight of Swords, I'm going to say air sign as well, Others of you, you know, you could have someone who's got strong earth and air in their chart who are helping you, but then others of you, it's an air sign that you are running away from because we've also got the Ten of Swords here, so they could be the one that was that stabbed you in the back. Those are the people that you are maybe running away from. I mean, literally running away from. Now, I don't know why, but I feel as though, uh, again, another message is coming through. Someone is being released from prison. Someone is waiting for their partner, their husband, their beloved to be released from prison. And it's time. It is time. Okay, they've, as I said before, they've paid their dues, right? Very important message. Just looking at the cards, sorry about the, the pause. Now with the Five of Pentacles, with the Five of Pentacles, what I just noticed in the back behind the woman's head, there is like a star there. So the star is a healing quality. It's also the, uh, the energy of Aquarius. So I don't know how Aquarius ties into this reading for a specific... Uh, person, people, 
Now, another thing with this card is it's a five, and fives always speak of change, all right? So through support, there is a change coming in. It looks as though um, the wheel is turning, even though I don't have the wheel here, and goodness me, I know it's going to show up. As soon as I think of something and I mention it, it comes, comes out. So yeah, the wheel is turning, I would say more than likely, dear Cancer. In the now position, there is an offer that's coming through. Now, this could be your energy because, you know, you are water, but this card also speaks of Piscean energy. So Chiron has just moved back from Aries. It's going retrograde back into Pisces again. So it's trying to tie up all loose ends with anything to do with, you know, wounding, um, more more of an emotional wounding than a physical wound right it is it's in our psyche because pisces is what is deep and hidden you know what's beneath what's in that deep dark psyche of ours right so it could be previous life wounds because chiron is the centaur right um chiron was actually wounded and um by his own people which was really was a physical wound, but it was also a very emotional wound because he thought, how can my own people do this to me? So um, through the practice of um, trying to learn to heal himself, he became the wounded healer. So he was healing other people. So there is a sense of cleansing with Chiron. So Chiron moving back into Pisces, you guys, dear uh, Cancer, you may be dealing with a Piscean person or it's whatever you have been wounded with in the past. This page of cups is here to bring you cleansing. Now, this could be an apology, yes, or it could be just any sort of an offer, an emotional offer, a financial offer for work. Work is here as well. I'm doing a general reading, right? Whatever this offer is, it is unexpected. Now, here, two sixes equal a 12. So 12 is the energy of the hanged man. Again, we've got Pisces here. And the hanged man can speak of sacrifice, right? A sense of sacrifice. And I feel as though there has been some sort of sacrifice that you've needed to go through in anything to do with money, children, or even a mental sacrifice, like um, uh, what's what what what's the term that I'm looking for? It's like repressing repressing your wants your your needs your opinions i think that that's a way in which a sacrifice has been made by you so that you can come to balance to balance out the situation okay now the we've got pentacles here and cups so there's a lot of earthy energy a lot of physical physical and tangible things coming into your life as well as emotional balance beautiful but you need to keep fighting for what you are standing up for and by standing up to whoever has been making you um they've been like they've come into your aura and they're it's as though they're um they're sucking the blood out of you and i think that you need to stand up Stand up, speak your mind, and take what's yours. Take what is yours, Cancer. That's enough of being trodden on, stepped on. It's a very Piscean energy that I feel here, and it's time for things to change. Take your power back, Cancer. So many messages, because this is what is coming in for you. The Empress is growth expansion receiving receiving the harvest 
receiving the love and the nurturing that you as a Cancerian need. You need to be um, you need to be lo loved and nurtured. Uh, I, you know, if it depends on you know what age you're at. I'm talking to many different age groups, but if you are in the younger group of people watching this video, I think that you need a mother figure, someone who's there to love and nurture you. And it's as though you're a plant that's withering away and you need to be um, watered. You need your oxygen. And oxygen came up for the sign of Gemini. And they also had a water sign. So Pisces and Cancer was mentioned there. So uh, I would suggest you go and watch that video. So the Empress is the sign Aries, Taurus and Libra. Okay. So Aries is um, the instigator. Aries is the youth. Aries is the beginning, the new cycle. Um, Libra is balancing out. It's other people. And Taurus is value. So all those messages in a nutshell you need to look at, dear Cancer, so you can get that balance that you very much so deserve. Now, in the divine position is the Four of Cups. Take it. Take it and run with it. It's a four. Four speak of home and family. Cancer rules the home and family. The fourth house of mother, parents, family. Right? Even children, really. Yeah. Take that offer. For those of you um, that, that are having issues with your children, um, an apology is in store. Um, I would say that if there has been a clash between yourself and a child of yours or your children, it is time for you to be the bigger person to be the loving and nurturing mother and um, take your children beneath those wings of yours. Um, children need to be loved and nurtured just like you, the crab, right? And I, I believe that once you do that, once you make that first move, things will balance out for you. So, dear Cancer, what we give out, the universe brings back to us. Okay, it's the laws of nature. It's just generally a law which we need to go by. So I love this offer coming in, even though sometimes this is not the best card. But in this Morgan degree, I always notice those three cups in the front, right? Those three cups are a celebration. And that other cup in the distance is something that is quite separate. It's separate and it's coming from somewhere else. It has not much to do with these three cups that are in front of you. So it's quite a different ace of cups. I think um, with Uranus in Taurus, it is okay to do things differently. It is okay to do things that people do not expect that you would, right? And... Um, Another message that was coming through, five, six, sorry, I'm just looking at the cards. Okay, so yes, one more message that's coming through with this is that whilst being out and having drinks, there's, there's a meeting that's going to happen. You're going to come across someone who will probably be buying you a drink. Um, that is the person that's going to be offering you something very important in whatever this is. It's the Ace of Cups in the background there, which is, uh, it can speak of anything that you value, anything that you love, right? I would say that you need to accept that cup and just keep your eyes and ears open because I feel as though for those of you that are meeting someone new, someone who once you meet them, you're going to think that you've known them from before. I do believe that you're practically on the same level emotionally, spiritually. Um, 
because we do have the Six of Cups here, right? Okay. Um, and for others of you, you could be meeting this person through through friends, through family, right? And it could be at an outing. And this is life giving you a second chance. So take it seriously, look at it well. And being in the time of retrogrades, Venus retrograding, right, in partnership houses, which is the 7th and 8th Libra and Scorpio, it's time for new loves to come in. It's time for old loves to be, you know, old flames to come back in. One message that I'd like to leave you with is that if you are beginning a new relationship with Venus retrograde, know that it may not last forever. It may, you know, be a short-term relationship. Just letting you know if you want to, the advice is don't jump in straight away. Give it time before, I think that you should build on friendship before you actually move into romance. Okay, once Venus starts to move direct, it's all systems go. All right. Now, I'm going to say we've got a few signs here. We've got, as I said, Pisces, Pisces and Cancer. We've got air qualities, mostly Aquarius. It could even be Gemini and Libra as well, but it's mostly Aquarius, I would say. And we've got Earth. We've got Earth. Taurus. Taurus more, more prominent. We've got Scorpio. Yes. And for some of you, we've got a little bit of fire as well. So um, Aries more than likely. All right. I think I will leave it at that. I mean, I can go on for another hour here, but I don't want to make these readings too long. Dear Cancer, I will be looking at more cards on Vimeo, so join me there if this was not enough for you, not enough information. For others of you, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and commenting. You are so sweet. So sweet. Um... If you have not pressed on that little bell, bell, click on that little bell so that you know when I'm uploading so you don't miss any of my videos. And I'd just like to send a special thanks um, to the people who, you know, support me through Vimeo, the people who have sent out donations, sending you lots of blessings. Thank you, dear Cancer. Catch up with you in the next couple of days. See you soon. Bye.